Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the video with the Roshan Remption, and today I'm going to be showing you all how to make a plasma shotgun, or I guess as they call it, a plasma scattergun, but it's pretty much the same thing uh, in Fallout 4. And honestly, this weapon's really good. I dare say that it's actually the best variant of the plasma gun in this game. Uh, last time I showed you guys how to make an automatic plasma rifle, and that thing is good. It does a lot of damage, but it's not that practical since it burns through ammo a lot. But this thing is a different story. This thing is really damn good. It doesn't burn through ammo too fast, and it does quite a bit of damage, so I definitely recommend it here. Now, as for requirements, first and foremost, you need a plasma gun, and here we're going to be modifying the plasma pistol. Second, you need a recommended science skill of three, but you can actually technically do this with no science skill. So technically, you don't need any science skill, but I personally recommend three because you'll make you'll be able to upgrade the weapon and, and make it a lot better. Uh, and then finally, you're going to need a ton of junk materials, and I will list all of those in the description. You guys will see in a sec when I actually go, go and craft this. So let's go ahead and craft this baby here. And like I said, this weapon's, this weapon's not only good, but it's a ton of fun to use. So first, I'm going to craft a a, uh, a stock, a uh, standard stock here. And this is not necessary. You guys can create a pistol shotgun, I guess, if you really want to. But I recommend the stock. I think it's personally a little better with the stock. So we're going to go ahead and make that. Actually, we're going to make the recoil compensating stock. Uh, it doesn't really matter too much because this thing doesn't have a ton of recoil, but it's better than a normal stock, I guess. And then we're going to go ahead and make the, uh, well, you could make the normal splitter, which, like I said, doesn't require any science skill. Um, and you need all those things on the right there. Um, but we're going to go ahead and make the improved splitter here uh, and it does require a sand skill of three and unfortunately it does require a ton of material uh, and fiber optics especially is sort of rare although you only need two fiber optics so i guess it's not so bad uh but yeah let's go ahead and create this overall this thing is probably easier to make than the automatic barrel that i showed last time so all right well now we have a recoil compensated plasma scatter gun or as i like to call it plasma shotgun it's basically the same thing uh but yeah we're gonna go ahead and test this out and i will see you guys in one second Alright guys, I am back, and just to prove how good this gun is, we're going to be playing on very hard difficulty here, and taking down some super mutants, uh, along with the XL1 power armor, which is sick by the way, just, just a side note. Uh, but yeah, another nice thing about this weapon is that it's so easy to use. It's really easy to aim with, because it's a shotgun, and it's got a spread, so you don't need to worry about, you know, missing or anything like that. Uh, it's got great hip fire accuracy as well. So I believe this, yeah, it's a legendary super mutant, so we're just going to pretty much spam away. Um, and like I said, you just spam with this thing and pretty much just wreck enemies. That's all you need to do. It's as simple as that. I mean, we barely took any damage there. Uh, I granted, it did, did take a lot of shots, but I feel like this is, that's just to be expected with legendary enemies. I think there's one over there, huh? Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Where is he? My aim just sucks, I think. Oh, there you are. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna run out of ammo soon. Yeah, I just did. Okay, we're gonna switch over to the shish kebab here. But yeah, that is pretty much the plasma shotgun. It's a great weapon. It's a ton of fun to use, and it's really easy to use. And it doesn't use up ammo nearly as fast as the uh, as the automatic plasma rifle I shot off before. I mean, look Look at this. Look at how much slow, much slower I'm killing this guy with the shish kebab here. I grant the shish kebab is honestly not that great a weapon, but still. The plasma shotgun is really good in my opinion, and I love using it. I think there's one more up the top up the top there. Oh, there you are. Okay. Oh, we might not be able to take this guy down. Crap. Die. We'll knock him off. That's hilarious. Oh, he took a ton of damage. Oh, we're going to jump down. Die. Oh, I love doing that. Just like randomly jumping down like that. Alright, well that thing is dead. Uh, and on that note guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end off this video. As always, if you enjoyed, be sure to drop me a like down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more Fallout 4 content in the future. The comment question of the day is what is your favorite variant of the plasma weapon? Do you like the plasma shotgun or I guess scattergun or whatever you want to call it? Uh, the automatic plasma rifle, the plasma sniper. I haven't really tried out the plasma sniper to be honest all that much, but from what I've used of all of them, oh whoa. It's a mile over there. But from what I've used of all of them, I personally really like the plasma shotgun. But let me know what your guys' thoughts are, and I will see you in my next Fallout 4 video.